we're asked to find the differential of the function f of x comma y, which is differential z, at the point four comma one using delta x equals negative zero point two five and delta y equals zero point five. Differential z will measure the change of z along the tangent line, then we'll compare this to delta z, which is the true change in z using the actual function. To begin, notice how we're starting at the point four comma one, and then ending at the point where the x-coordinate is four plus delta x, or four plus negative 0 0.25, and the y-coordinate is one plus delta y, or one plus 0 0.15. So notice how the ending point is 3.75 comma 1.15. Differential z is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x times differential x plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y times differential y. Let's begin by determining the partial derivatives. To find the partial of f with respect to x, we differentiate f of x comma y with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So we're treating y as a constant, we're treating e to the power of three y as a constant, and since the derivative of two x with respect to x is two, the partial of f with respect to x is two e raised to the power of three y. And now let's find the partial of f with respect to y, which is equal to the derivative of f of x comma y with respect to y, now treating x as a constant. So if x is a constant, the partial of f with respect to y is equal to two x times the derivative of e to the power of three y with respect to y, which would be e to the power of three y times three, Remember, we have to apply the chain rule here, and therefore the partial derivative is six x e to the power of three y. And now let's determine differential z. Differential z, again, the change of z along the tangent plane is equal to the partial of f with respect to x evaluated at the point four comma one times differential x. Differential x equals delta x, which is negative 0.25 and then we have plus the partial of f with respect to y evaluated at the point four comma one times differential y, which is equal to delta y of 0 0.15. And now we need to evaluate the partial derivatives. The partial of f with respect to x at the point four comma one is equal to two times e raised to the power of three times one. And then we have times negative 0 0.25 and then plus the partial of f with respect to y at the point four comma one is going to be six times four times e to the power of three times one times 0 0.15. I've already evaluated this, this is approximately 62.26516. Let's go ahead and record this above. This is the change of z along the tangent plane from the point four comma one to the point three point seven five comma one point one five. And now let's find the true change of z, which is delta z, which is equal to f of x two comma y two, which is the second point after the change of three point seven five comma one point one five minus the function value at the original point, which is four comma one. So now we need to substitute these values into the original function. F of 3.75 comma 1.15 is equal to two times 3.75 times e raised to the power of three times 1.15 and then minus F of four comma one which is equal to two times four times e raised to the power of three times one. And this comes out to approximately 75 point five, six, eight, six, four. Let's also record this above. If we compare delta z and differential z, in this example we can see differential z is not a very good approximation for delta z. If we wanted to use differential z to approximate delta z, we'd have to make the change of x and change of y. We would need to make delta x and delta y closer to zero so the second point is closer to the first point of four comma one. I hope you found this helpful.